Okay, before I start today's retro bat video, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So thank you very much to Angel9714 who's just told me that Retrobat has got a new update. So this one's now on version 6.3.0. Now I've got Retrobat on my computer which I do for a setup guys from time to time. Uh, what we're going to do is actually look what the changelog is doing. So if we go direct to the website, I'll leave the link in my description. As we can see the latest version of this is 6.3.0. If we just drop this down, we're going to find emulators, cores and systems. So we got an update to Singe, we got Open Goal, which is a new addition, which is going to be a Jack and Daxter 1 and 2 engine, which I'll likely be doing a setup guide for at some point once I figure that one out. We also got some bumps from previous emulators to current versions. For example, we got Main just here, which has currently been bumped up to 0.267B. Uh, RetroWatch, of course, had a new update, a new stable update a little while ago. Now RetroBat has got that incorporated. Incorporated. Uh, we got a rain update as well, which is more or less an arcade emulator. Uh, we also got our PCS3, PlayStation 3 update. So many good things going on just there, including a play update. In play, it's a PlayStation 2 or PlayStation arcade system, which I've also covered on my channel. Lots of goodness going on just here, including some bumps of Xenia and Xenia Canary, which is Xbox 360. If we scroll down, we got a lot of fixes just here, so you might want to read through this. Lots going on there. And we've also got plenty of features. So one in particular we got just here is Nintendo 3DS. Add bezels for side-by-side -side layout, which could be pretty useful to some people. Uh, we also got Dolphin just here under features, which is now added retro achievement support. And of course, we had a update the other day to Dolphin, which told us at the time that Retro Achievements now had support. And this is all included in the latest release of Retrobat. So a lot here to read through, but generally, this is an action-packed update. Lots going on just here. We also got lots of support here for light gun games under other stuff. For example, we got add Techno Parrot light gun games in light gun collection. We also got add Retro Shooter's Gun Detection. So anyways, what I'm going to do next is open up my current version of Retrobat and I'm going to show you how to update this. Okay, so if you're running the current version, or rather previous current version now of Retrobat version 6.2.1, as we can see just here, this is the current version I've got. If you want to update this to the latest, and as you can see at the top center, it's just come up as update available. All we need to do to do this is just go to updates and downloads. Make sure update type is selected as stable and start update. If I press my A button on that, is then going to start updating. Now, before you do this, just remember to make a backup of all your important files, your configuration files, and all your games. In case anything goes wrong, we don't want to lose anything. You are currently using version 6.2.1. Yes to this. And as we can see in the top right hand side of the screen, it's now updating Retrobat. So we're going to just wait for this to download the update and finally it's going to install it. Okay, so as it says, after everything's been installed and it's strapped like the top right hand says, all we need to do next is reboot Retrobat. So what we're going to do is just close down, so from main menu, quit, and then if we open up Retrobat again... And that's it then for today's Retrobat update video. So expect a full setup guide for version 6.3.0 coming fairly soon. I've not done a full complete setup guide for a little while now, but since this one's had so many new features to it, what the hell? So watch out for that one. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit the notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.